what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am riding a 1994 Honda Gyro Canopy. Below me is a one cylinder 49cc engine as well as a CVT interestingly enough. Now I am super excited to be riding this here Canopy because it's weird. It's super weird. I had some extra time down here in Florida so we're gonna review it. This one is making five horsepower which, uh, is it crazy? Yeah. <laughs> but this is super strange to ride. Oh my God. I've never ridden anything quite like this. Uh, I'm real nervous about it. <laughs> now, these are mainly used for like delivery services over in Japan. This was imported from Japan. I know it's middle drive, but it is a Japanese moped, and it's actually under 50 cc, so not only do I not need a license for it, I don't have to register it or nothing like that. It's just, it's a moped. It's a moped with a top. Now, you could get them without the top. They're more commonly found without the top, but I wanted to go with the canopy because I just think it's cool. Oh, gotta lean into it, lean into it, lean into it. <laughs> In terms of interior, well, in front of me, I just get a speedometer, some warning lights, and my fuel, but then that's it. It's driven with handlebars. It doesn't use a steering wheel, which is really, really strange to me not having grown up with motorcycles or having really ever ridden one besides that one that I reviewed a few falls ago. I do get a parking brake in the center, which will have it stand up, but if you stop, you have to use your feet to balance it, which is weird, but, and off we go. <laughs> the seat's cushiony, it's comfy, it's a one-seater. And uh, it does not fit the big friggin' bottle. However, this was popular with bar owners in Japan because there are certain models, and I'm showing a white one here, that actually had a big box on the back that could fit a 24-pack of beer. So they would zip around Tokyo delivering beer or bringing what needed to be in other places around. So it's actually very, very functional. And the other reason I was excited to drive this is because this is how a lot of vehicles or vehicle makers in Japan got their start. Mazda did something similar to this in the 40s. So did Subaru. It was mostly just enclosed motorcycles. If you want to know where Japanese motoring came from, it's sitting right in front of you here in this video. <laughs> Let's give her a little juice, huh? Ah, too much juice. Too much juice. Ah. Oh man, this thing is an absolute joy. Now Honda sells a lot of these, and I do mean sells. They still make them. They've made these since the mid 90s, at least the gyros, up until today. However, they still have to follow the 25 year import law here in the United States. So that's why this is a 94. However, it's incredibly cool. This is now officially, I believe, the smallest engine I've reviewed, and what an exciting one at that. Thank you, Matt, for letting me take out your gyro canopy. This thing was super cool. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Maybe I'll get myself a moped one of these days. I kind of like this. It's kind of fun. <sighs> Feels good. Feels good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Check out Obscure Rides down in the description below. Let's run it! Oh, too fast, too fast. <laughs> Take care, guys.